show you how to get this dyed effect on this jacket. What you'll need is an item of denim that you want to customise, something like this. I have done this myself and if you click on the screen now it will take you to a tutorial of how to make this exact jacket. This is the jacket that's featured in the video. Doing this first means that when you put the dye on the jacket it will give more of a cloudy effect. Dyes. I'm using Powder Pink by Dylon but I also used a small amount of Flamingo Pink because I ran out of this. So if you are planning on dyeing a jacket like this you might want two packets just in case. You can buy these all over the internet but I'll leave a link in the description where I bought mine. Gloves, a bottle to mix into, some salt, a bin bag and some water. So you want to take your bottle and take the top off, pour in some dye up to about there and then you want to add some salt this just helps the dye stay on the fabric after you've washed it give that a shake and fill the bottle to the top with water then you want to put the top on and shake it throughout dyeing you're going to need to do this a few times because one bottle isn't going to go across the entire jacket as always we need to wear gloves Before we start dyeing you want to cover your jacket in water to get it damp, this just helps the dye move around the fabric better. Make sure to tip off the excess water, then you're ready to start dyeing and just start applying the dye to the lightest parts of the jacket. all over the jacket and then I'm using a small amount of flamingo pink to add to any parts that didn't get as much dye as others as I ran out of powder pink. So I'm just adding it and then rubbing it in. When you've finished adding your dye to your denim you want to put it in a bin bag and seal it with a knot. This means that your denim and dye will stay wet so it won't dry out and it will mean that the dye will continue to absorb into the fabric. With Dylon dyes I tend to leave them for up to two hours. When the time is up put it in your washing machine with a small amount of washing powder and wash it on its own. And you'll end up with something like this. As you can see I've added studs to my jacket. I used English 77 studs, I'll put a link below to where you can buy these. If you'd like to know how to stud denim, click on the screen now and it will take you to a video tutorial of how to stud denim. Also I'd like to remind you that I do have a shop and I run a custom service where you can order items to be made to your specification. You can find all the information about that on my shop which I will leave a link for in the description. So I hope this has helped you, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and I'll reply to you. Thanks for watching guys, bye!